The previous video on my channel was of this, and I don't, I don't know what. Well, I don't know why I'm into alarms. Just sprung on me one day. I like, I like the circuits. I like how they work and that, and especially like the vintage systems. Now I bought this part on. on <laughs> Sorry, I had a stupid moment then. I bought this part on Amazon. Um, five quid. And anyway, I thought, well, I don't usually take apart the mini things, but I wanted to take this apart. I don't know why, it just fascinated me, this one. Especially because it's got a built-in strobe, and I thought that was great for a tenor. So, I'm just going to be taking it apart, and there's there's the um, wall plugs. Um, I hope, I, well, I'm not going to wreck it anyway. Well, I'm not... You, I might have to to get into it, but I don't think I will because there's only two screws there. So if we just take them out. I just want to see what's inside of it. One little screw out. Two little screws out. So now if I pull this wire, it'll probably just... Oh, yeah. Right, so, the grand unveiling. Very interesting. So anyway, well actually, we can take this apart further. It's got two screws there that hold the circuit board down. So four screws out. I can prise that off. And I would be able to take this little back plate off, but the wire's all bundled up so I'm not going to. So it's all still attached in a way. Um so yeah, well, starters. There well there's your sounder in there. Looks a bit like the back of a key switch mechanism, but yeah, there's a sounder. And um, there must be three versions of this. It says 5 volt slash 12 volt slash 24 volt. I bought the 12 volt version. And I was wrong. I was wrong yet again. The LEDs, I said, because um, I said I think there's probably going to be three LEDs in this. If you look back on my unboxing video, unboxing and demonstration, I said, right, there'll probably be three LEDs. Well, there was actually two. But it was just the way they were shining through the lens. Lens is actually four LEDs. But if you can see them, oh, the wires there. They're not LEDs at all. The little mini light bulbs, um, which make up the strobe, because it's called strobe on the box. It says this part of strobe. But anyway, um, if the water gets into them, obviously it'll break. That 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 still be the same with LEDs. But these bulbs will blow because bulbs can blow so well eventually they will blow anyway exposed to the elements used and all the rest of it they, they will blow and then you won't have a strobe anymore but that is the same with the xenon strobe isn't it so I, I, I can't fault that loads of diodes resistors and chips a very interesting big black one here as you know they always I, I always bend these back up like that they're always they're always bent over in the factory I, I always like to bend them back up so they're straight um, not got too much to say I'm not a resistor -y person <laughs> that, that's what I'll call it so I couldn't really tell you too much about it I just thought I'd take it apart and obviously so you've just got you've got really light bulbs diode resistors chips motherboard sounder and obviously all the casing and a bit of wire so that was it really I just wanted to see how it worked really, so I thought I'd do this little taking apart video. So if I was a factory person now anyway, I'd push that circuit board, say like I've done all my soldering, I'd push that circuit board back onto there, I'd bend all the bulbs so they're on an angle. And there's only four screws keeping this thing together, it's not too complicated. And I would put 
one screw in on the circuit board. Now, I'll keep that down. Now, like I said in my previous video, I think they make great mini external or internal sirens, but the only problem with external is I don't know how long it would go before it rusted. Because it's not like a complete... Well, it is completely waterproof, but... It's one of those less waterproof units, if that makes sense. Now, why am I... I can't get this screw in, because there's that many... Things around it. Uh, probably... I would probably... Guessing... I would have been fired by now if I was in the factory, the amount of time I'm taking. Screw number two in, so that circuit board's back. And now this back just clips on like that. Um, and we put the little, well, the other two little screws in. I must like look like an idiot now. I'm taking ages. Hey, that one's caught thread. Being made in China, I don't know how many safety checks these things have. I can't imagine too many. They might not even be tested at all. So I could have wired anything wrong in these and they'd just be put in a box and sent away. So that's it. That unit's together now. I tested it in my other video, so I'm not going to test it in this one. So now I'll just get my box. Push it in there. Wall plugs and screws in. Well, I thought, look down. There we go. Down there. Put them in. Close that. Then you'd tick one of those three boxes, what colour the strobe is, and then the unit would be sent away. So that was it. Not too scientific. I literally just wanted to see what was inside one, and I'm glad I have now. So, thanks for watching, and goodbye.